Shaver 1000 here. Today we're down at the city park. I'm gonna throw a rubber worm. Monkey had some errands she had to do. She had a doctor's appointment, so we're just gonna throw throw a line out here a couple times, see what happens. I don't know how good this rod is gonna be because it comes apart so I can carry it on my bike. So I want to get, I'd like to get around them, uh, lily pads out there, but, Fell in there, man. The wind caught that. It's awful windy. Probably won't, won't even get a bite. So hopefully, the wind's not too bad on the mic. Man, it's really windy. So my fishing license expired, so I had to I re I paid for them again today, so I always get the I get the salt water and the fresh water and I get uh the reef fishing I got blue crab. The blue crab's free. Check something, my phone went off. So yeah, I'm just gonna Wow, that was strange. Didn't bring any spinner, I just brought some worms, just you know, get out of the house for a few minutes while monkey's doing her thing. Like I said, she's got a she's got a doctor's appointment and then she's got to go to Walmart, and then I think she's going to go see her mom. So I just thought I'd come out here for a little bit. These are some worms I found one day out on the boat me and monkey stopped took a break i caught a couple bass with them on one when i was camping caught two bass monkey ate 90 percent of them bass <laughs> so if they're around they'll hit on it
it's just an old Zebco 33. Man, I missed my vintage one from, I think it was 1984. Somebody dated it for me when I, uh, I did a video on it. Somebody told me about what year it was, and they thought it was a 1984, so... fish stole that one well I'm assuming it was a fish we was over in the Gulf Coast and I was helping monkey I was getting her some shrimp out and all at once my rod and reel was gone <laughs> that's monkey there So yeah, this is all I'm doing. Kind of a boring video, I know. Unless I catch something. Which I doubt. It's just too damn windy. This is like we go out on the boat all the time. This rod does not like to cast well, but it's better than nothing when you're on a bicycle. I mean, you know, we're out, right? We're out here fishing, so... The wind keeps blowing it back to me. We may go down, down there. I think that's what we'll do. Ah, uh, like way down there. <laughs> but let's try to go over here and see what we can get. I think it's just it's just too windy hope you guys aren't getting banged around too much and I know there's bass in here because they have bass tournaments out here a lot I haven't entered any fishing tournaments in years All right, you know what? Let's try to get. Let's go. Let's go over to the other park. Because this is the second park. Let's go over to the main park. See if there's some lily pads we can get around. And uh, catch some fish in. I don't know. So, I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, so thought I'd bring you along for this little bit of ride here. Start going in a circle there for a second. Man, my shocks are squeaking, my brakes are squeaking. Jesus. nice little boardwalk through there it goes way back there it goes to a place called Cooter Pond if I was allowed to have a bike on it I'd ride the bike over there but not a lot of bikes on there that's fine I understand that
Now my back brakes are squeaking. Yeah, nobody's here. Let's go up in here. Well, maybe not. There'd be some bass in there for sure, but... Man. Yeah, this... This used to not be this bad with the lily pads. I remember taking our other boat right around in there. Boats used to park over here and come to the festivals and stuff. Jeez. Hmm. Well, I know another spot we'll try. So, um, there was a guy fishing. It's off that little spooky bridge that Monkey is scared of. But, I mean, there's places in there. We're gonna, we'll go try that. And, you know what? Let's just keep you rolling. And I can talk to you guys. Go this way. Yeah, there's there'd be some bass in there. For sure. Yeah, we'll go. So, yeah, it's a shame about Cedar Key. But, yeah, I had mentioned it about Monkey's mom. She's been in the hospital. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Um,. I don't know how long she's gonna be in there, but they want to try to get her into a uh, a rehab place. You know, for it's usually about two weeks after you get out of the hospital, and you know they help you exercise and stuff and get your strength back. But man, <clears throat> it's she's getting bad, guys. Oh, the speed limit's 20 here. Okay. So yeah, but uh, let's see what else. So yeah, I go back the 29th and um, to see. Let's see. Wait, I think this week I go see my surgeon, but the 29th I go back because I had my ultrasound done, and we're going to decide if I'm going to have that catheter done. Catheter. Oh. Anyway, they want to put another stint in. You know, they're going to go. They said they can go up through my wrist. And uh, instead of up through the groin. So, heart cath. That's what it is. Yeah, heart cath. Go do that. Um, so, that's kind of the update on that. With the surgeon, I go, I go do a follow-up. I think this week, if I'm not mistaken, I had to get Monkey a new laptop because hers just, uh, it's just too slow. It's old. I mean, it's like six years old. And, uh, but it's like six years old. And, uh, it's just getting, getting really slow. It, you know, it was just a cheap, Walmart thing for her job, you know, and it wasn't, you know, it's not meant to be a Man, the water's up there. It's not meant to be used for video editing or gaming or anything like that 
Let's try to find another spot here. Something we can get closer to the water. I kind of looked at it when we came down through, but I didn't pay much attention. Place off to the right there, but there's some gators in here too. It's just uh, a lot of lily pads. Hmm. Well. Didn't bring any live bait I should have and I could have just I could probably find some around looking around here but uh, all right well all right I'll be back with you when I figure something out okay guys so I just remembered another place we can go to there's a little park down here we actually uh, geocache down in there and uh, I think that's the spot where we didn't actually find the geocache but we found where it was and they just never replaced it but you can tell exactly where it was so it's just right up here about where that white truck is to this park. Can't remember. Okay, it's... You know what? I might have took the wrong... I might have took the wrong turn. Yeah, so I just, I, I thought I'd get out a little bit, you know, since I moved down here, I've had so many friends and family pass away, and in the last two days, I just found out that two more of my school friends, and uh, one was a school, a friend from school, and one was uh, a friend from, um, my my youth group class yes that's right I had a youth group in church but you know found out uh, one of my friends was killed in a boating accident Sunday so the guy I went to school with um, I guess they was on the Muskingum River you guys in Ohio know where I'm talking about so I'm guessing around uh, Probably around the Zanesville area. Anyway, they hit something in the water. And two of them flew out of the boat. And one of them, I don't know if there was just the two, but one of them got back in the boat and got him back in the boat, but he was unresponsive. And, uh, but they're still doing an investigation trying to figure out what they could have hit on that boat hell of a nice guy um, any of you guys that follow me from school days his name was uh, Dave Lashley hell of a nice guy um, but yeah you know it's just uh, 
so I, I just wanted to get out for a little bit take a little ride on my bike uh, that's what monkey bought it for me for right so um, I thought well I'll do a little fishing because I was going to go down the river and I was going to you know see how high the river was do some fishing down there but I changed my mind here's that park um, so I changed my mind and just decided to uh, what's going on here oh that's yeah just decided to uh, come down here at the lake throw a worm around that thing right there that's what they used to get rid of like lily pads and stuff like that wow storm brought down some tree branches it looks like you know what I'm just gonna stop right here and I'll kick you guys off but I'll kick you back on here in a minute and we'll throw out in here a couple places and um, see if we can get anything okay so here we are but you know when I come out places like this wow I just noticed this trees down I'd like to bring you guys along so I can have somebody to chit chat with took out the picnic table it did um, Wow, you can cast when the wind's not blowing it back in your face. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to just talk with you guys, you know, because you're not just my viewers and subscribers and followers and money makers, you know, you guys are my friends and I just consider most of you family, you know. Looks like a nice spot to come out here, maybe tight line, do some tight line bottom fishing. But yeah, that thing over there, it gets all these, like the um, the weeds and the and the lily pads. They need to run it around where we were at down there by the park. sink for a minute maybe we'll walk over this way or maybe over here see if I can get past the the weeds yeah let's do that and check my rig here that's okay Yeah, they got these benches here you can see here wow yeah I'll have to bring monkey down here well she's been here like I said with geocached but um, do some fishing Those bass like it around, shoot, bass like it around these places, you know, with the, uh, with the lily pads and the leaves and tree stumps, they love tree stumps, and they can get, you know, the bottom of tree stumps and spawn and whatnot, and then, um, around docks and around the, uh, embutment of bridges, you know, bridge pillars. I like to hang around places like that but this is um this is pretty weedy so
All right, guys, I'm going to shut you off for a minute. And if I get anything, I'll kick you back on. So, yeah, this place is cool. We've got a couple little grills here. Someone had a fire in there. And there's one. There's a bench. There's two picnic tables, but this one's, you know, wasted. There's a bench there. And another grill so yeah there's picnic table under that stuff it got wiped out it's a shame hopefully they'll fix it a lot of times they just take them out and never bring one back but somebody's trash here if I had a place to put it I would take it out of I would take it out of here but um, I mean, you would think it's a park. I didn't see any trash cans when we came in. But, so, uh, yeah, um, these are squirrel cuttings, cuttings. Squirrels been sitting up here eating nuts. So, yeah, I'm gonna upload this. I had somebody one time actually comment you know why'd you even bother uploading you didn't catch anything I said and all I replied back at first was because this is real life and they actually was stupid enough to say no I've watched plenty of fishing videos real life is catching a fish every time you go out and apparently you haven't been fishing you know I went off on that jack leg what the hell are you talking about you know what do you mean every time yeah, that's real life. No, that's fake. And a lot of them guys go out and catch four or five fish. You look at the sun. You look at the sun where they're at. They start in the morning, and it's going on evening time. They're like, yep, only been out here about two hours. Liars. They're liars. They're fakes. You know, and they catch, you know, 10, 12 pounders every cast, every, you know. Okay, whatever. This is real life here, guys. This is a great lake. Like I said, they hold bass tournaments here a lot. <coughs> and, um, you know, I've seen some big bass brought out of this lake. So, you know, sometimes you just, you know, like I said, and all I brought was that worm. So I didn't really, you know, I didn't bring any other spinners. Well, I don't, I don't have any spinners. Because you, you guys, if you watch my channel, you know, I just like to cast out, let it sink to the bottom, and kick back and wait on a bite but like right now i'm sure if i would cast some cast a night crawler chicken liver or something out in there i'd probably start getting hits here in about 15 20 minutes maximum um but you know any bad day of fishing is better than any good day at work so but all right guys i'm gonna catch you off here i'm gonna head back to the house and um Bruno's there by himself. I don't like leaving too long. Has we haven't been out that long, so. But I'm gonna head back to the house. If I see anything interesting, you know, it'll be a bonus footage. And um, if not, Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend, I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate it, and thanks for all your comments and likes. They are much appreciated too. And uh, everyone, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, and take care.